we are doing is really and truly unprecedented. His Excellency the President, through uh, the sector minister, and with implementation by the National Youth Authority, is constructing a state-of-the-art youth resource centers. Uh, people have called these facilities a stadia or a stadium. The fact of the matter is that this is a stadium plus. It is a stadium reloaded. This is a youth development facility. It is true that we have a FIFA standard football playing field. It is also true that we have multi-purpose sporting facilities that can take care of basketball, volleyball, lawn tennis, and Minister has just instructed that we should uh, add tennis courts, a table tennis court to the facility here in Kufuridia. So yes, because young people love sports, we are the participants and we are also patrons. Uh, the youth resource centers have some sporting facilities, uh, as Honourable Minister, you already know. Uh, our suggestion, Honourable Minister, is that if you give us approval, there are some uh, minor, minor outstanding works like painting and uh, some uh, finishing touches like uh, uh, electrical connections and all of those ones. Uh, but generally, uh, the consultant is here. He gives us the indication that uh, work is uh, over 98% complete and we are confident that uh, if you give us the permission, uh, we can start preparations uh, to commission uh, this facility uh, within the shortest possible time. And today I'm so excited and happy that the progress so far is almost 98% uh, and it just left to 2% for us to commission. And now uh, let me just use this opportunity to assure you, to give you the direction that yes, I'm impressed we can go ahead to make the preparation for commissioning by next month. And on behalf of the uh, young people and the youth of our country, let me take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President of the Republic Nana Adodan Kwekufuado for this numerous huge investment in the youth. Uh, like the CEO said, we have 10 of these youth resource centers simultaneously being built across the country. And it is important for us to make that uh, clear that we have 10 of these youth resource centers simultaneously being built across the country. We have one in Wa, one in Dunkaofen, we have uh, Doma in Kro, we have Azim, we have uh, Adaklu in the Ho, we have Yendi, we have Navrongo, and we have uh, Accra. So these youth resource centers, 10 of them, and also in the Nashanti region, we have 10, 10 of these simultaneously being built, and we are going to commission all of them. Six of them, the second phase, they are almost done. Three of them is just ready for co uh, commissioning, just like you have seen in Kofodria. Uh, we can host any tournament, any competition here, as we stand here. The facility is a multi-purpose youth resource center. It's a multi-purpose youth resource center. And this, like the, uh, the CEO said, it's not only for sports. The various auxiliary centers being added. In the beautiful city of Axim. And uh, we have gone on, on an inspection with you, our friends from the media, uh, and you can see for yourselves that work is progressing and in fact work is at advanced stages of completion. Very soon the consultant will announce to you the percentage of work that is done and what is outstanding and shall also give you an indication of work, work of when work is expected to be completed practically and when this facility will be handed over to the National Youth Authority, their clients, uh, constructing this facility. But we think that it's important that we use today's occasion to uh, set some records straight and to clear some misconceptions about the project. So I'll state for the records that this project commenced sometime in 2018. In fact, in October of 2018, we have heard people make the claim that this project was supposed to last for nine months. Indeed, the initial conception of the youth resource centers 
were envisaged to have been completed within nine months. But that original conception has since changed significantly. So it is to be expected that the deadline for the completion of work will also change with the changing scope of works. The first contract that was signed, the contract for the construction of the Youth Resource Center at Axim, I hold in my hands a copy of that contract, was executed by the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports then, the Honorable Isaac Kwame Isiyama, and the contractor also uh, executed, I was, and the witnesses are here. This document, if you read this document, which talks about the nine months that we are now religiously sticking to, speaks to the construction of two stands, a football field and some other activities. But what you see here is not two stands. That became possible because there was a variation to this contract. And an addendum contract was then executed, adding two more stands, therefore increasing the capacity of the facility to what it currently is. So it is to be expected that a project, a contract, that was to build two stands over nine months couldn't possibly be expected to build four stands within the same nine months. And so the timelines automatically will change. So it beats our mind why we still hold on to the nine months time frame, which, as I indicated to you, uh, was a part of the original contract. Then in addition to these two contracts, now we even have a third contract, which is the phase two, which has to deal with some of the functional the, the the additions that will make the facility economically viable and also functional so that we can deal with the the challenge of maintenance so you find that there is the walling which was not a part of the original contract and the addendum contract uh, but it is now part of the phase two there were major drain issues which were now also factored in the phase two. There's the issue of the floodlights and the ticketing boots because, like I discussed earlier, the idea of economic viability of the project was factored in. So we started off with a small conception to create safe spaces for youth congregation, focusing on primarily football and some uh, outdoor games like uh, volleyball and netball that concept got improved to a four stand 5,000 seater minimum exp expandable with additional facilities including even residential facilities the project should have been completed by now but in the course of the works we realized that Axim in particular records heavy rainfalls so that affected the progress and again we also have to bring in some variations which also affected progress but we are expecting that by the end of april we will do the handing over to the clients edika yebeda omampeni ase is a way by cabinet na yen kan no credit here back up at the day. Yeah, my penny here done. I see the project here, baby. Yeah, yes. Hey, UGCC phone penny for things. Mao and then it resonates with him. And he we no dear, as you can see, I'm a former minister. Becca Tremo, we lobbied, cried, cajoled, 
ena yen saka he nya me adom em say fit like tete abere so isaac sia ma abere so ena me ami nua pious hadije abere so no eh ejuma no de meka se enzima hade de e koso sin ba bia e san se me ankasa no me wo chamber me ni chamber o me di echire anopa ni enwumi obe humi ana me wa na e anyway ho na makko office wa na me bisa no na e kosa inti in spite of all the challenges that they have had enzima nko ade ne de e meka se contractor no break here obe break na se nsio na eto wo mu wo sika mu ni sika na me fre no yewra besma pebesia be wi adwuma no so me me ka sho mo ni nyam se throughout the years no o mo ya adwuma wo hanka kran kran with a very little resource on benya no wo mo ba en se sia ye ba ye we over 80% te ni se enche e mebunu a e wa ha no wo mo sabe ka sa bia yi no mo so football as a wom basketball as a wom any track run as a wom no one more aye bibi ashe nya ma show mo bo so mo bie pa de ne baby jet ye de ne beba eh madam fo pa ani capitano stevena pia ti de mo beba krom na wo mo so abehye nkran e ma mranti a e wa ha no ehun wo mo se if baby jet can be who he is another child from in zimmerland can aspire to be just like them ye de de akaka no mo awie it is because the leaders of this place Myself humbly and other leaders, yeah, lobby pa, yeah, free one more. Adam Hadija, this is like the seventh visit. What you want, my friend? Oh, mama, she, oh, mama, she. And he, his mind and heart is on this one. And no, can we do many courses? Yes, eh, yeah, my post, and I would do actually. So I say, we pay any panama neba, but done in a very subtle.